Spend the night and go back home early tomorrow morning. No, I never promised you that, sweetie. Oh, come on. Anita, last week you spent the night just once and you told me you were going to make it twice this week. Come on, Anita. Please spend the night tonight. No, Thursday or Friday night. Wait, not even Friday. My pastor is going to notice my absence from the Friday night video. So, Saturday. Saturday night, okay? Saturday. Hello? Who is this? Who? Simeon! Simeon, uh, how are you? How far? I just came back from the embassy. And it's the same old story. This is the fourth time I've been turned out at the embassy. They simply refused to give me a visa, despite all the documents I presented. I put on getting fed up with the whole thing. 
Please, oh, no honey, don't lose faith, okay? Don't be discouraged. That's not the issue, Anita. The issue is that you have been there in the US for almost two years. That was just two months after our wedding. We were still believing God for a child when we got a visa to come over there. And my papers were being processed. We all thought within two or three months, I will join you. But this is the second year. Come on, honey. I, I know you're trying. But please try more, okay? You can still reapply for the visa. Or you can. Are you not married to stay together? Why should you be married and still be living a simple but married life? Is that the plan of God for us? So, what else do you want me to do now? This is almost two years. When are we going to start building our home? If I can't come over, then for the sake of our marriage, for the sake of our blessed union, and the home God has given to us, please come back here and let's be together. I believe this is the will of God for us. I can't. I'm, I'm working on my immigration papers. I can't travel yet. When will your papers be complete? I'm still working on it. Hopefully in the next five to six months. That was exactly what you told me last year. I'm sure it will be possible this year. All right. I have everything. I'm managing. Things are not easy. I know, I know. It's not with me either. It's not easy. I'm only trying to hold. My colleagues at the office are always making jests of me. Calling me a married bachelor. It's not easy there. I'm sorry, honey. We'll be together soon, okay? So where are you now? What? Um, um, I'm, I'm in front of the, of the church. We just, um, we just finished a gospel service and I'm going home. Actually, we're having a seven-day prayer and fasting in the church. And we'll be running off this evening. I have prayed and fasted on today's visa interview. Yet I was turned down. All the same, God understands. Hey, where is your uncle? My uncle, he's fine. He's always asking after you too. I will pray for you to hear, okay? Um, listen, sweetie, I gotta go, okay? I'll call you back later. All right, I'll be expecting. Yeah, bye. Larry. What? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I was on the phone talking to my husband and he couldn't even show a little courtesy for being with his wife. Listen, Anita. Who cares about a man who's thousands of miles away? Huh? What makes you think he's not sorting himself out the way you are sorting yourself out right here, right now? Answer me. No, I trust him. <laughs> All right. Just as he trusts you too, huh? Is that alright? Listen, Anita, sit down. Sit down. Look at me. I have a wife back at home too, you know. But there's nothing wrong with being with such a sweet and caring person just like you. Huh? So Anita, be happy with what makes you happy, baby. Alright? Oh, come on. Now what? church this evening. I had so much work to do and I had to meet some deadlines at the office. I worked up until 8 this evening. So, where, where are you now? I, I am presently in my room 
home, sir. I have decided to take some time to rest. I'm, I'm, I'm resting at home. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, Anita. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm very grateful. What's up? That was my pastor. to your house unannounced. I tried several efforts to get your attention, including calling you several times without any response. I sent your friend, Eunice, to you to see me in my office, but you refused. But how, how did you manage? Eunice. She opened the door for me. This evening after the Bible studies, I told her I have to see you urgently. So, I came here with her. When I got here, I didn't see you. So, I called you to tell you I'm around. But I was amazed when you told me on phone that you were in your room resting after a hectic day. And that is the confirmation of what the Lord told me about you. What did the Lord tell you about me, sir? <laughs> that was sliding back into the world of lust for pleasure that you have compromised your faith in the Lord and you are living in sin and disobedience. So, I had to come here and talk to you. And here is the confirmation. Anita, why did you come to church this evening? I was in the church on Sunday, sir. Yes. And you sang in the choir. I saw you, but this evening, you didn't show up. 
I was overwhelmed at work today and I could not make it to church. Have you heard from your husband? Yes. We spoke this evening. I told you he said he was going to the embassy this morning. He went but he wasn't given the visa. And that is why I'm here. How? It's time to go back home. To where, Pastor? It is almost two years now since you got into this country. And you have only spent about two months with your husband before your big uncle secure you a visa to this country. And you have hoped that your husband will join you. And that hope has gone on and on and on up till now. I can't go back home yet. My immigration papers are not yet complete. And leave the papers alone and go back home and build the home God has given to you. You have to choose between completing your immigration papers or building a godly home. Did my husband call you to talk me into leaving my work here and returning home? No. It wasn't your husband who spoke to me. The Holy Spirit sent me to you to come and warn you to desist from your godly way of life and to do His will. I am not living an ungodly life, sir. I am not. Here you are. Here you are. He said your ways are not clean in His sight. And you should fear an impending disaster. Disaster? What disaster? What do you think? Don't you think there is a consequence for every act of ungodliness? You left your husband back at home in the cold. And you began to live a reward life here. That is not true, sir. It is not true. You attend parties and clubs and hang out with ungodly friends. And yet you serve at the Lord's altar. You are a church worker and you sing in the choir. This evening when I didn't see you in the church, the Holy Spirit moved me to come and talk to you. Have you once heard of the parable of the ten virgins? Yes. Five were wise and five were foolish. And you belong to the foolish camp. Me? The light has gone out and your lamp has no oil in it. You are empty on the inside and you are surrounded by darkness outside. But how? The Lord impressed it upon my heart to come here and share a story with you so as to give you an understanding of how spiritually Healthy and physically gullible you are. A story? Yes. It's a story of an African prince called him urgently to come and attend to some of his father's business. Come on. Victoria. Just. Look at me. It was because my father sent for me urgently. That's why I have to go. He needs me to attend to some personal business of his. I'll be back. Business? Yes. What business? Sweetheart. Your father's a royal king. I know. He has several subjects. He has ace and business associates. Why didn't he send for one of them to help manage his urgent business need? Why you? Sweetheart. 
くるな
Sorting out some problems in our father's company. In my father's house, there were many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So, when is he coming back? I miss him so much. It is very difficult to say when he will come back. But his coming back is very sure. He said when he comes back, he will relocate his family back home. Relocate? We're going back home with him? Um, that was what he said. We have a very big palace back home and many servants too. I will wait. I will wait for him. Oh, how I miss him so much. Me a letter. He wrote me a letter. Oh. My dearest Victoria, it has been six months since I left you, but it has been like eternity. I am very sorry that I had to leave you when I did. It was my father's business that demanded my attention. But you don't worry. I will make up for my absence when I come back. I sent my brother, Shalom, to inform you that I have decided to bring you all back here with me, so I wouldn't have to leave you again. Here is a very large palatial mansion for us. It is more comfortable here by all standards. I will come for you very soon. My brother, Shalom, will always come to visit you from time to time and I will always send messages to you. I will be back soon. I miss you. I miss your companionship. My heart is always with you. I love you dearly. Your loving husband, Prince Emmanuel Godwin. So, how do you feel now? I feel great. I feel great. I feel on top of the world. I will wait for him. I will wait. One more thing. Okay. My brother commissioned me to see to your welfare and to help you in all ways possible till he comes back. Okay. Here's my card. It contains my address and my phone numbers. I live close by. Oh, great! Which means it will be easy for me to get in touch with you anytime. I will always be in touch with you from time to time. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. He sent his twin brother to stay and watch over his wife. Does anything about relocation sound familiar to you? Relocation? Mm -hmm. 
Oh. He sent a message to his wife that he will come and relocate her to his palatial residence. I don't know about any relocation. So you must be done with understanding, Nita. Haven't you heard of these things many times in the church before? I've never heard any message about relocation in the church, sir. But I've heard about the rapture of the saint. About Jesus coming to take his bride home to be with him forever. Yes, I, I think so. I think so. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 17. That is similar to the relocation that the prince was talking about in his palatial residence. Victoria, I am coming back to you. I am coming back to you, but you have to be patient. You have to be patient. I will come back to you. I am. You just have to be patient. It's a fault. You have to be patient. Hello, Victoria. Victoria. Victoria, hello?
movie house, to lovely restaurants, Victoria Springs, Sydney Worker. Oh, yeah! Hilton Hotel. Mm. He spoils me, girl, with some scrumptious meals. Oh, yeah. Fries and wine. <laughs> and some glasses. And guess what? All this was done in a lavish <laughs> My rich boyfriend, he took me to the Caribbean Ooh. for two whole weeks. Get out of here. Two weeks? Two whole weeks. You mean to tell me that you spent two good weeks in the Caribbean mm -hmm. with Everest? Mm -hmm. oh, you two must have had a really good time. Oh. Yes, we did. We have a whole room to ourselves. Ah! I need the rest of your imagination. Oh. Mm. My husband is coming back. He is coming to relocate me to live with him in his palatial residence. So when is he coming back? Did he tell you? No, he didn't. But he assured me he'll be back. <laughs> Waiting. Are you sure he's not enjoying himself with other women out there? My husband is not like that. He's a highly respectable person. He'll never lie to me. But oh, Victoria, I can't imagine why a very knowledgeable and beautiful woman like you, why do you wait for a prince who's been gone for over a year now? The prince is out. Enjoying himself with other women. Victoria. Wake up, Victoria. Wake up. Enough of this stupidity. Enough. Anyway, have you heard from Lawrence lately? Who's Lawrence? Oh. Vicky. Come on. You know Lawrence. Lawrence that you used to go out with. Before you met your, mm -hmm. your so called priest. <laughs> so, who relevance to me anymore? All things have passed away. Remember? You don't him like a bad habit. And now another lady has picked him up. Remember? 
One man's poison is another man's meat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. From what I heard, anyway, they just got back from the Bahamas. Really? Yes. On a 10-day cruise. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? It is sheer silliness. To give your love to a man who does not want you. Wake up, Vicky! Wake up from your slumber! Step out of this dungeon you call a new life. And step into a world of freedom and great pleasure. Ladies, I need some time to think. I need to get off. friends. Girls, you need to leave now. You need to leave now. Who is that? Aren't you going to introduce us to him? He is Shalom, my husband's twin brother. He lives close by. He was sent here by my husband to help me out. Victoria, this man here has been sent to hinder you from enjoying yourself. How can you move on? Which husband? To enough is enough. The prince is out there enjoying himself, having a good time with ladies. Girls, can you leave? Now. Let's we go. have tried. We'll see you, girl. There's a party in town tonight. You want us to pick you up? It's going to be lots of fun. Let's go, girl. She's a wonderful music. Ooh, not bad. Go, Mr. Shallow. Let's go, girl. Victoria. Who are those ladies? My friends. You have any problem with them? But those are not the type of friends you are to keep. If you want to... Shalom. When will your brother come back to me? Victoria, your husband is coming soon. He spoke to me this afternoon and told me to assure you again of his coming. But you need to be patient. He said when he was trying to explain to you in the afternoon, you are not patient with him. I am tired of this waiting game. I cannot keep on waiting for a man who has no definite time of coming back. Things are happening out there. I am missing a lot. And yet all I get is a promise of a relocation to a beautiful home sometime. I am tired of these empty promises. All these are not empty promises, Victoria. I came from there. It is real. But as long as you allow those ungodly friends with worldly lust and desires, they will make you to lose interest in the glorious things prepared for you by your husband. When is he coming back? My patience is running out. No. No, Victoria. You've got to hold on. Till when? When is he coming back? Is coming back soon. I am tired of this waiting game. Wrong association. Listening to ungodly counsel. Standing in the ways of sinners and sitting in the midst of these corners. 
Is it not interesting that your life is almost similar to what is happening to that woman? No. You have gradually begun to open the door of your heart to your ungodly friends who are enticing you to step out of the covering of your Lord and Master into the lustful freedom of the world. They are influencing you to abandon your faith and you have begun to combine church attendance with a, a series of night parties. You are mixing your love for Jesus Christ with the love of the pleasures of this world. You have begun to listen to your godly friends who are making you to reduce your love for your God and Master. So, the wife of the prince has begun to become seriously impatient. loyal to my husband. Oh, there we go again. I cannot go out with you. I can't. You're gonna wait on the man who's abandoned you for years? You're holding on to the love for a man who's back home, enjoying himself with other ladies while you're here languishing in loneliness. Vicky, I am offering you my deep love. And money. And money. What else am I going to do to show you that I love you? No, sir. What do you really want from me? What I'm asking you is to give me a chance. Let me show you how much I really love you. Come with me, let me take you out. No, sir. Yes, my love. I need some time. I need to think this over. Just give me some time. You want some time? I'll give you some time. But whenever you think about me, I want you to think of a man that will love you and never abandon you. Think of a man who will treat you with love, care, and money. We'll spend our honeymoon on a seven day cruise in the classiest hotels around the world. Italy, Singapore, the Caribbean, even at any hotel of your choice. Our honeymoon will be on a seven day cruise around the world. Think of a man who is dying to love you. What? Will it be okay if I... What? I give you a hug? I just like you. No! <laughs> I haven't even made up my mind. I see. I know exactly what to do. What? Hmm. Will you drag me to the altar in your dream? No. I'll just show you the yes! <laughs> And I will lift you up. I carry you in my arms. And together, and everybody will be watching us. <laughs> and I'll be with true love. <laughs> I will give you some time. I'll be back. Same time tomorrow. All the money, 
But I haven't said yes or no. Even if you decide to say no, that's a testimony of my love for you, my queen. I'll see you. into the house. Have you been eavesdropping on me? I came in when you were talking. I thought you saw me. I was sitting in the kitchen because I didn't want to disturb your conversation. Victoria, what briefcase is this? And who was that man? I you don't know. know. And I am not under any obligation to let you know which guest or visitor I receive in this house. And it is none of your business, whoever I choose to befriend or who gives me a gift, okay? That man has come to deceive you into leaving your husband the prince and marrying him. Isn't it? That man is a deceiver. Is your enemy. The enemy of your glorious destiny. Please, don't do it. Don't do what? Victoria, your husband will come very soon. He is coming. He will come and take you to his last... Stop place. fooling me! Stop fooling me with an empty and hopeless promise. Stop deceiving me to wait for a man who no longer has interest in me. Is he really coming back? But, I don't believe it. But he has assured you that he's coming back. No! One from the prayers took gifts from the man. And that was a gradual compromise. That is similar to your case. The influence of worldly friends and desire for lustful pleasure have overwhelmed you till you gradually began to slide into lustful pleasure. You still remain in the church. But there are no clear demarcation between you and your worldly friends. You attend parties with them. Where you all have fun dancing with husbands of other women. And you are beginning to sleep with other men without any trace of guilt in your heart. You abandon your faith in the Lord. And you are now becoming comfortable with the sins you once hated. It's been long since he left me behind. He sent his twin brother to watch over me. That to me than having him around. Am I not missing a lot? I have rejected the hands of so many men dying to date me. All in the name of waiting for a prince who has no definite time of coming back. this? Hello? Hello? Oh, hi, sweetheart. Hi. What's going on? You no longer sound enthused as before. You have lost your joy and inspiration. There's no excitement when you listen to me as before. I hope you're not getting discouraged about my long delay. I really am. I am. I'm getting very uncomfortable with your long delay. No. Please, don't be discouraged. I am almost rounding up my assignment here. 
My dear husband, you have not been able to answer my question. You must be definite. Definite? And what? When exactly are you coming back? Tell me. Princess Victoria, I am not only coming back to you, but I am coming to bring you back here with me. This is the Palatia Mansion. It's a very large kingdom where servants are readily available to do your biddings. My father is the king, while I am the heir to the throne. And you shall be my royal queen, sitting beside me always. Enough of those promises. They are beginning to bore me. They no longer make meanings to me. When are you coming back? But I am coming back to you. When? When? My father has not told me. But by all indications, I could be ordered to return any time from now. I am tired. I am getting very frustrated. No. No. You must wait. Hello? 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 Victoria? Victoria? running mad, waiting endlessly for a man who has broken his promises and is no longer coming back? Will I continue to wait in the slavery I call freedom? My prince, is he back? Infidelity just by flattering you over the phone. Vicky, I have presented myself to you wholeheartedly. And I've made you a promise that I would not abandon you. I'm not gonna abandon you. I have really come to get this over with. Say something. Vicky, say something. What? Look into my eyes and tell me you don't love me. And I promise you I'm going to walk right out that door. Never to return. Never to bother you again. person I've ever known. You're the most caring person I've ever met. All I'm asking is, let me be the one that's going to be there for you. To, to care for you. Am I, am I asking for too much?
Coming back for a church, yeah, yeah. He's coming back for a church, yeah, yeah. For his heart, without a spark, glory. 